Our coverage of the Combine continues. We're inside Lucas Oil Stadium with NFL Media's Daniel Jeremiah, who knows the class as well as anybody, and we don't know the class very well yet. So what are we going to get in this year's draft class? What, what distinguishes it maybe from others? Well, I think people always ask what the deepest position is yeah. in a draft, and I don't recall ever using quarterback as the example. I think this year it is. I mean, when you look at the, the big five quarterbacks that we have, uh, with Darnold, Rosen, Mayfield, Allen, and Jackson. And then outside of that five, I still think there's three or four more other guys that are producing. Luke Falk, um, you look at Mason Rudolph, you got Mike White, and you've got Laletta from Richmond. So that's a big group of quarterbacks yeah. and one of the deepest classes we've seen. And then running back class, just like last year, a lot of depth there as well. And then the more I'm doing, the more work I'm doing on this corner class, I think it's a, it's a really solid group there. Ooh, Mike Zimmer's going to like that. Yeah, he huh? can't have enough of those corners. He yeah. loves collecting options okay what are they i think alabama's got a pretty good one right any others that stand out to you maybe for remember the vikings are at 30 yeah so i don't know if that guy will be there or not but well I, I keep an eye on a guy like isaiah oliver from colorado who's a great player he's a decathlete so you talk about what kind of special athlete you are um and then as a track guy sometimes you question toughness and instincts well no it's not not an issue yeah. with him so a little bit tight for for a big corner which is is normal but i think that might be why he could be available there at the bottom of the first round uh you've got some guys maybe a little undersized jerry alexander mm -hmm. who from louisville is a great player he's tough he kind of plays on the boundary side so uh, they use him a lot in run support and and i love what he brings to the table i mean there's a long list of those guys so uh, you've got lsu has two corners dante jackson who's really really explosive more of a nickel inside player and then his teammate Tolliver is going to be an outside corner who's uh, very similar to a guy like PJ Williams when he was coming out of yeah. Florida State so uh, yeah I know they're at the bottom of the first round which is where you want to That's be good, yeah. but they're still gonna have some good options there let me ask you this as a as a guy who was a scout um, when you get to this stage of the evaluation process you know Mike Zimmer really cares about alignment and technique and um, you know the mental part of the game how do you evaluate that part of a corner or a safety or, or any player really when you get to this stage? Well, you look at on the tape how they're used and how they're incorporated, different techniques that they play. Uh, Mike Hughes, like from Central Florida, is a great example because you'll see him play press, you see him play off coverage, you'll see him in cover three, you'll see him in cover four. You get to see him do a wide variety of things. So there's no guesswork, and that's what you want as an evaluator. Eliminate that guesswork and know exactly what you're getting. And then when you get out here at the combine, that's where you're trying to fill in those gaps. Okay, I didn't really see this guy in, in off coverage. Yeah. What does his pedal look like? What's he look like when he has to turn and open up? Um, that's just you know one position, but you go through all the positions. Running back, um, I have a guy that doesn't catch the ball much. I mean, last year we had Corey Clement from Wisconsin. Yeah. Goes undrafted, yeah. as you guys well know, is having a big year for the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, question was he came out on third down how does he catch the ball well you get into a workout setting like this that's where you can get a chance to give him some reps there and see how they do all right dj thanks for your time